Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Well over 400 videos. Today, I'm riding a Triumph Tiger 800 XC. Now, if you've looked through my channel, I actually had a six, six plate one of these, this is a 12 plate, and uh, I quite liked it. These are very perky triple engines, 94 brake horsepower, which, to be you, in its class is actually quite a lot. This has got a Yoshi exhaust, which you can hear grumbling in the background, and if you watch this, that nice. I did stick a video on here showing that. Now, as I said, 94 brake horsepower and this is the small adventure. So we're not going to 1215s and all that sort of stuff and the BMW GSs. We are just looking at the small ones, which I can't moan about the little 650 Versus. Very underpowered compared to this 60 odd brake horsepower. And this has got so much more and it does sound yummy. Yes, I know I left my bloody indicator on. Because I was talking, I wasn't looking at the dash. But I did turn it off. Of course you've got the, also the 800 BMW, that's a newer shaped one. Remember years ago that little 650 Fundero single cylinder, that was just horrid. But still the BMW 800 twin, got a 750 or 700 as well. Um, this does beat them. Now ride height, as you know I'm only 5'8", and these are brilliant. Both feet flat on the floor. You can also get lowering kits for these as well. The BMW is just way too high, the 800. And the Versus is such a light bike, it doesn't really matter, but it is a high bike. Now on the bike, on this one, you should be able to see the bars. They pretty much are straight, so you do get a little bit more of a steering sort of when you go around bends. With the verses, you sit up a little bit more and they're very light. These you do feel as though you have to bank a little bit more. But do you know what? That's actually quite enjoyable, and very quickly you get used to that. Now this is the lower range, I suppose. Didn't get a lot with this bike, so someone's fitted heated grips, always handy, and this. Uh, Fog lights. The switch I'm going to put down here a little bit better to be able to turn on and off. I don't know why I keep calling them fog lights. They are day running lights. However, on a day like today, I'll call them fog lights. But you know what, they are bloody good. There are some cheap ones out in the market, I've had them, 10, 20 pound ones, so they're okay. These ones are, you know, HID ones, and wow, they do light the road up. So you do get what you pay for, as simple as that. I like the fact on this Tiger, you get a gear change. I'm so used to getting a gear change, it just helps you, you know? The rest I found that when I got to 70 mile an hour, I thought I was in fifth, I'm always looking for that little knock up another gear. Well, just having that gear indicator it really does help. Now these are still nice and light bikes. And I will say the acceleration is yummy. It really is yummy. I'm in third gear here. And there we go to 70 mile an hour top gear. I did spot the police guard on the side of the road and he actually looked at me then. But hey, I'm not breaking the speed limit. I've got my old helmet on and I was worried that the uh, sound would be a bit more knocky, it's rattling somewhere. Now people know a lot about these, about the buffeting. So the last owner the fitted a very nice MRA screen, are they? It's a nice screen. I was right. MRA. £200 worth. You know that um, 
does make a difference and this one's adjustable can go up and have a good couple of inches but I'm happy where it is it's also got a little side deflectors here as well so they're handy let's move over now the acceleration they used a 94 brake really does make a difference and I said this one's got a Yoshi exhaust on here I reckon it must add at least five brake I've been a bit touchy around the corners it's still damp you know six degrees today but you can really give this some and it sounds lovely I always say my videos be seen be heard these have got a 19 litre tank 19 inch front wheel and also I think that makes the steering as well 17 inch back skinny tyres though I think there's one turn at the front by 19 and I think the rear is only 150 I've seen people put 160s on them doesn't really make a great deal of difference I guess just for aesthetics from behind on the 1215 they also fit a very skinny tyre lovely sound you also get a little bit of a burble out of this when you knock the throttle off and of course you can change down gears which really helps on the braking as well the last time I put EBC brakes on this the pads and again you know I've used the old gold leaf ones and the cheaper ones it's got a nice set of pilots on here for the tyres and you do notice a difference I said in my last vlog with the Versus it had odd tyres on it but you do notice here that it really does stick to the ground and braking is a little better let's just overtake here say thank you and thank you in top gear still accelerated very very nicely and if you've watched my video about fitting the back box I've got it on now someone's fitted mirror extenders on here I don't think you really needed them if I'm honest I'm not a wide and it makes you keep thinking I've got another couple of inches either side of the bars it's not a bad thing I really can see it really well behind me lights on these I do love them they are uh, even with the uh, fog lights on here they are brilliant twin lights on these I do love them they are uh, even with the uh, fog lights on here they are brilliant now what he did is down there oh, mud on the road hate that he fitted or tried to fit a set of LED lights on here you know the old bulbs and while pushing them in yeah, I keep going for gear I know it's in sick oh well he broke the little ball that the uh, lights sit in so they got them down so he broke that he had to pay £400 out for another set of headlights that was a cost he could uh, do without being the bottom of the range model I said didn't come with an awful lot but you can whack it on afterwards he's bought a set of panniers put the back box on you know it was £1,300 extras he put the fog lights on there with a bit of money he's got a rear hugger pyramid with one of them colour coded bit of money you know, so I guess you pay now or pay later. If you haven't got all the money down there, you can buy them each month or something, so it's probably the best way to go. You do have to keep a little eye on the speed. It doesn't sound, and nor does it feel like a certain big bike. I've got to say, I got quite used to the verse in the morning as I rode that for the last five months and you really had to whack open the throttle to get any speed out of it. This, you don't have to so much. And it just sounds nice. You're more confident on the tyres. And you can really, if you want to, give it a little bit, come out the band of it. It does feel really nice. But these are great commuter bikes and yet you can go on that journey having the luggage on here really really helps as well you know I feel like I popped a Scotland under this a 19 litre tank yes you're going to fill up a few times you know I've a Triumph I've had a few now and the trophy you know I went all the way to Isle of Wight and back again 286 miles you're not going to get lost on this little baby but that's where the weight comes in really good I can't knock it at all easy to get off nice and slim sits in the back of the garage job done clocks do everything you want them to 
and it's always handy having a petrol gauge but also a countdown which is the 131 that says here this is how many miles I can do it only goes by how and what your last ride was like you know if I'm doing 50 odd mile an hour nice and slowly as it were you're not going to get 200 miles they say 160 miles per tank on the old figures I will do a review of this and I'll give you some more facts and figures so just the facts and figures as already said 94 brake horsepower 58 FT pounds for max torque 130 mile an hour maximum it says 40 miles to the gallon I don't think I'm getting that maybe the Yoshi or my style of riding but I'm not getting 40 miles to the gallon 169 miles to a tank again I'm not going to get that engine is 799 cc's it's a 12 valve triple six gears frame type is twin steel tubing 19 litre tank seat height is 810 mils which is perfect for me dry weight 210 it's gonna be a lot heavier with the panniers and the back box on there rear suspension is a mono shock preload adjustment twin front brakes 308 mil disc single pot at the back 255 disc rear tire is a 150 70 by 17 and the front tire is a 110 by 80 by 19 as i already showed you so i think this is the mark one i guess of the tiger 800s or 2012 bottle i like the racking on here now the 16 plate i had had the box rack like it does on the Kawasaki's so when you take the luggage off you're left with this sort of ectoskeleton racking sort of thing with this it's only got the two clips but a bit of an ugly bottom bar I'm not serviced one of these and I intend to keep this a little while it's passed all the warranties so I will be servicing this bike last serviced at 16 and a half I think it's got 19 on it now so probably 21, 4,000 odd. I will check the specs and do it properly. Did do a service on the 1050 I had before, and that was relatively simple. I can't see it's been any different. Always handy to save a few pounds. Come on, BMW. Oh, Let's watch my last vlog. These bloody cones. They've been here forever. They had all this at the side done up as well the other day. I'm just making a mess, an absolute mess of Chelmsford. Can you hear that lovely noise though? I am uh, happy with that. Little 125. Going the opposite way. You have to look twice. You think, is it, is it an R1? Is it not? And you look at the chunky exhaust and see that he's only doing five miles an hour. You realize it's 125. And out the way. Thank you for stopping. Now on the other couple of bikes I've had, I've fitted cameras back and front. Getting them from the source on eBay has been difficult. The first one I got came quickly, and that was a much better camera than the second one I had, because that was a 1080 and 720, and there was some debate, and actually it's more like 720 and 500 nod. So I will purchase another camera, and I'll fit it to this one. I do intend to keep this for a while. The wife said to me other day, she'd like to go back on the back of the bike again. She'd like to go on the back of the back of the bike again. Yeah, get back on, oh, you know what I'm trying to say. She'd like to go on the back of a bike again. So, the Versus was no good for that. I've had a Versus before, and they are just great single bikes. They're no good for two up. 1,000 cc is completely different and I didn't fancy it and the luggage is so small so I went for something light economical 40 odds to the gallon these get probably not with the Yoshi <coughs> still fun to do a little bit of commuting but big enough still pop 100 odd miles on a trip this ticks all the boxes so a little vlog on a bike thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching my review and vlog Please like, share and subscribe. Now I do have the white 66 plate one on my channel as well. There'll be links somewhere around here. I've got the Triumph Trophy and the Triumph 1050 as well, GT. So, few to watch. 
and lots of others to be honest with you over 400 videos check them all out please <laughs> like share and subscribe and take care of yourselves on these roads